Well, of course, Star Wars fans are intense, and so are Masters fans. The folks there are not going to let a little wind stop them, for sure. It's just going to be gusty during the day tomorrow. Temperatures in the low 70s, mid-70s Saturday, on Saturday, and then mid 80s on Sunday. Now that wind is going to be something to watch for us. Uh, we should first alert weather day and we don't do that when it's just you know, breezy or a bad hair day. Uh, but we do do it when there's going to be strong gusts to the point where you're probably not going to want to sit outside tomorrow afternoon and evening. It's going to be uncomfortably windy. I don't necessarily think it's going to be damaging wind. I don't expect trees to be down all over the place, but an isolated tree or two down can't be ruled out as it is going to be pretty strong. We're looking at winds at 21 miles an hour already in Greenville, and then that's just the start of it. It's going to be picking up quite a bit into the day tomorrow as that push of cooler air from the northwest comes in. And for First alert radar is all clear right now, at least in the upstate. We have a few light showers left in the mountains. So 51 tonight, winds continue to pick up. Rain will be on the downswing, and you can see that as we go through time, we'll still have a chance for a few showers in the mountains overnight, but we'll start the day dry on Friday. Now, when the colder air comes into the mountains, it's going to hit up against the mountains, that northwest flow, and create a few showers. But the big question is, do we get any in the upstate? Right now, it doesn't look like like much is going to break containment from the mountains, but a couple sprinkles and the northern part of the upstate is certainly possible. So we'll uh, keep an eye out for you, but I wouldn't cancel any plans over rain chances. This is about a 20% chance toward the middle of the afternoon tomorrow. Wind gusts as we go into the day on Friday. This is the morning already gusting to 25 miles an hour. And then look at that. We'll have those gusts potentially in the 40s uh, into the late afternoon and early evening. That's when it's going to be the worst Friday between about three and six. And then we should see some improvement from there. Then our next big thing, once the wind settles down this weekend, temperatures soar. We're going to look at high pollen levels because of it too. We'll be cool in the 60s with that wind on Friday, but 80s on the way next week. In fact, start at 80 Sunday, making it to 85 on Tuesday, and then low to mid 80s continue for Wednesday and Thursday as well. So it is going to be very warm across our area. And the mountains looking at 70s next week, close to 80 degrees when typical is in the mid 60s. Now, of course, you can always check in on the morning news on Friday morning to get your forecast for the weekend and to find out how strong that wind is as you're about to head out the door 430 to 10 and then stick around for Access Carolina and the midday news at 11.